Uh, response video to conference report. Yeah. <laughs> How do you solve the problem like in man down? Do 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 sound of music song. Um anyway, um yeah. So anyway, we made a video just pointing out that some people just can't stand me. You know, and they just find me totally unacceptable. And I can understand that there's people I find totally unacceptable. So it's likely the people who don't find me acceptable are people I don't find acceptable. I find them useless pieces of shit and probably would be perfectly happy if they got run over by a steamroller. Because they have no character and no ethics and no integrity and no intelligence. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the way it works. They're probably blights on uh, parasites uh, on, on human progress. They're just probably killing the progressive organism with their stupidity and their myopic view and and their simplistic um, intellect. So yeah, that's probably my opinion of them. So yeah, you just see, you're just like, why do I want to hang out with parasites? You know, with complete assholes. You know, with things just dredges disgusting dirt. And you say, yeah, I don't have any need to do that. I don't, I'll go find someplace else to hang out. So I understand that feeling. And, you know, I'm sort of been of the opinion that there should be a mechanism where people can basically just say, it's me or them. You know, and they say, you either, you got to choose, everybody. Choose who's going to be here. Is it going to be me or is it going to be him? Because we really can't hang out together because this motherfucker is a slandering, lying piece of shit who will cheat in every argument, and I'm really not going to deal with him. I'm not going to spend my life unraveling his lies, okay, and his slanders and his direct accusations of, of misconduct. I'm not going to spend my life proving to him not only that there's no God, uh, but that I'm uh, not on welfare or that I'm not this or I'm not that. No, I'm not going to spend my life proving my character to some weasel, all right, who doesn't have the guts to make a real argument. Um... <laughs> you know, and I'm certainly not going to argue persistently with people who just lie and say things like, well, are you calling my grandfather a liar? When their grandfather isn't a Jew. Uh, yeah, I'm certainly not going to do that. But we don't know who's the complaining parties here. <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I'm not going to post my more obnoxious videos on Fred's website. I already decided that. So I wasn't, you know, I didn't post the latest video on his site. And I figured I would just post videos that are stimulating content with the people who are members of the site. And uh, even that hasn't really happened. I mean, Fred's the only th person who's responded to anything. Fred's the only member of the website who's responded to any of the free will videos, or, you know, in any modern way. I mean, Rose Bushy has posted two-year-old videos that have already been refuted, so I'm not doing that again, um, especially when there's 25 of them. Um, but, yeah, beyond that, there's nothing. There's no participation yet on his website. No coherent crosstalk is taking place in any manner whatsoever. And so that's kind of discouraging. Um, but regardless, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I have, no, I have no desire to be um, a problem for somebody. I'm looking for somebody, I'm looking for an argument. I can have my argument in my own house. I don't, you know, I can, I can yell from my own windows. I don't need to go to somebody else's platform and yell. And uh, that's okay with me, too. So it really just doesn't matter to me. Um, but, yeah, this needs, sort of needs to be mechanisms. I, I'm kind of tending towards this idea of, you know, changing the structure where you have these categories that videos fall in. They don't show up here, but, um, you know, because it's YouTube. Um, but, um, you know, so you can basically have checkoffs, you know, for videos that are aggressive or unaggressive, that are... Um, they have swear words in them that don't have swear words. That these can be checkoffs for the video, and then people can filter what uh, they want to participate with. And people can choose to be filtered out, or they can choose to make their content as generically acceptable as possible. And uh, I think that's a fair approach. Um, yeah, I, you know, fair as I can figure. Um, so anyway, but I did want to respond because there's always this little snarky crap. And I just, I hate this shit. So this uh, Yama Kebababa guy, <laughs> you know, who, you know, we both like each other, but I hate the shit he says. You know, I mean, I don't say shitty things about him. 
and he's always saying these little snarky, you know, cut down any kind of remarks. And it sort of pisses me off. So in this part, he says, well, I find it weird that people are being party poopers and why are they worried about Gary? And then his response to this girly voice thing, he says, uh, yeah, I thought what Gary would do with Stickham was cool, but I didn't realize everyone had to go easy because if someone said something he didn't like, they would get kicked immediately. You know, I mean, that's an accusation. Why don't you just prove that? All right? I mean, you know, for the last at least a year, a guy's been posting all the stick cam sessions, so if, I mean, you should be able to, you know, maybe you can remember some of these instances where somebody was kicked immediately. Uh, you know, why don't you, and why don't you compare me to somebody else doing this? So show me another room where somebody else is doing this weekly thing for eight fucking hours um, for two years um, that, that's doing it better, that's doing a better job. I mean, it's just bullshit. <clears throat> why don't you do it? Uh, the odd thing is that it's like the guy, I like the guy, and yet I'm on edge whenever I visit a stick camera. Well, I don't know why you're on edge. I mean, unless you're going to be just persistently insulting um, <clears throat> and use circular logic over and over. I mean, the only people, most people would agree, the only people I kick are people who are just being completely redundant, who aren't making an argument, they're just trolling. It's like, well, how many people do you want to kill? Or some kind of other bullshit paraphrase of what somebody is saying. So if somebody's just going to be rude and insulting, the, the evidence is, is that I give them lots of chances to be rude and insulting. And after about the ninth or tenth insult, I say, well, that's enough of this crap, fuckhead. All right, go somewhere else and play your game. So I don't know why you're on edge, okay? Because, I mean, I've spent hours talking to Christians. I've spent hours talking to people with all kinds of whacked out ideas. And as long as they don't get personally offensive with me too regularly, they don't really have a fucking problem. So fuck you. <laughs> I mean, really. It's just cheap crap. Like I said, again, show me who's doing it right, fucker. Damn. Um, anyway. You know, and I'll close my room and go to their room. All right, you show me the better run room. You go show me the more, the room that's fairer. You go show it to me, okay? Give me the link to the fucking thing. Anyway, <clears throat> all right, so then on to comments and such. I think that's enough for a conference report. Yeah, we got like 15 minutes left on this camera. Anyway, 20 maybe. Uh, so comments, yeah, so there's been these people commenting on my video, so I'm just going to, you know, the control center for the website lets me see all the comments made, which is kind of convenient. Um, so this Infomy guy, he made a response, a comment to the modern mystic, but it was just kind of mushy, so I won't bother with that one. The mystic responded to it quite adequately. Um, so I'll move on to some of these other ones in this un -c 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 person. <laughs> but anyway, I highly doubt that the, a stable, functional society, there will be jobs for everyone. Well, whatever. What, would you, you highly doubt it. Okay, fine. That's a statement. I don't know if you have any evidence for it. Um, you can make jobs. It's just not a problem. There's always something that needs to be manicured better or cleaned better or somehow functions better because you know, there's always work to be done. I mean, it's just almost silly to say there's not work to be done. My website needs improvement. I mean, you could hire somebody to do that and then hire somebody else to do his job and then hire somebody else to do his job and eventually you get to somebody who just has to clean a piece of glass every day. But whatever. Um, unless that society is rationing its population to that there's only enough people for the amount of work needed to be done, and as a, well, I mean, quite obviously, if all you're doing is breeding people and you have no infrastructure, well, then you're not going to have a society that's going to be coherent. And if the society is overpopulating its infrastructure, well, that's not going to be coherent either. But, I mean, the idea that you can have a functional society where there's work to be done and people do it, I don't think that's really a problem. And as a possession of currency is the only method to attain life's essentials, food, clothes, shelter, etc., I would pay anyone... I would pay everyone a small salary for merely existing. And yeah, well, later you're going to say you don't think there should be money, so I don't know what the salary would be made out of. Um, and I'm not opposed to the idea of there being a, a minimum that people can live on. You know, you give them a sh you know, some sort of five-by-five five shack, you know, in, in, in Lazy Town. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they can have three meals a day at the, the local, you know, food giveaway. And, yeah, they can spend their life watching... Uh, you know, a 10-inch TV and farting, if that's what they want to do. And so that could be your minimum standard. But yeah, I don't, you know, what I wouldn't give you the right to do in that circumstance is breed children. 
that other people have to pay for. Um, I mean, you're not going to get the free money if you're going to have kids. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't mean I would allow individuals to be lethargic and leech, leech off of others. Well, I don't see how the two things wouldn't happen. I mean, I don't exactly know how you're... If you're going to give them a salary for doing nothing, I don't see how people are going to say... I mean, to, to frankly, quite frankly, you know. Uh, I, I mean, if you're going to give me free room and board without the prison bars, I'm probably going to move in. Um, but everyone wouldn't be working all the time. There would be, obviously... There would obviously be idle moments, and some idle moments would be longer for some than for others. Personally, I would use I would wouldn't use money in society I run. Well, I'm just saying I don't know how you can't. You have to you have to monetize the value. You have to put some way to trade the value. You can't just be walking around making fake promises. Oh yeah, I promise I'll show up and you know clean your driveway if you clean mine today, and then I never show up. I mean, if you don't have some sort of contract paper you know, you're you're always going to end up in court or something. So, I mean, at least with contract paper, you pay me now, and then I pay you later. And everything works out okay, because i got a guaranteed piece of contract paper. So you're not really understanding how money works, and you're kind of wasting my time. But nothing new there. All right, hang in there. Those are some pretty sharp dudes. I once debated actual word esoteric. Okay, so this was to, um, what's your face? Uh inspired I am, so forget that. <laughs> Is it your contention that molecular structures led to DNA structures that led to patterns of behavior that are later passed on to human beings? Well, I don't know about passed on. I mean, we're genetically disposed to some things as human, as homo sapiens, just like dogs are dogs and cats are cats. But obviously, they all acquire their own individual personality um, through experience, through maturation. So the human race and the DNA would be a vector by which patterns and structures of behavior could be expressed in future generations and replications. Well, I'm just saying the DNA molecule is a blueprint molecule. The only thing evolving is the DNA molecule. Okay, your body doesn't evolve. The molecule evolves. It's changes in the molecule that create changes in the organism. I would debate that, but all programs and patterns can be corrupted, and your listing of emotions only applies to normal this was to um, the modern mystic apparently um, only applies to normal humans with normal emotions no it doesn't the whole point is is that through your maturation the the basic generic default pattern is changed and it can be changed into all kinds of aberration depending on what circumstances do to you, how shell-shocked you become. Yes, we react to the environment. We are corrupted by the environment. The environment can e effectively destroy us psychologically. Just like it can destroy a dog. You can destroy a dog. You can make a dog insane. You can do it. It's really easy to do. You, they're they're ab abusable. Retard. Some people can turn off their emotions or alter them. Well, whatever, they don't, they can't turn them off, or whatever, at will. Well, this is just, it's, no, all that means is they have a, a stronger principled program. So, I mean, obviously a kamikaze pilot, for example, has to have some personal survival emotions. He has to have some personal, God damn, I'm going to miss my wife, emotions, okay? But he has a high principle that's saying, this is what you've got to do. This is the honorable thing to do. You will save um, thousands or millions of Japanese lives if you do this. This is your obligation. Uh, you know what's right and you're going to do what's right. So his principles dominate. Okay, That program of principles is stronger. And it might just be the principle of being a good soldier. I've received my orders. I'm going to be an honorable soldier and I'm going to do as I'm told because that's what I signed up to do. I signed a contract saying I take orders and I do what I'm told to do and I'm going to goddamn do it. That's all it could be. Einstein. Perhaps this <coughs> action was totally predictable. Oh, well, no, that's a different comment. Um, perhaps corrupted programs can lead to emergence of free will. Well, again, free, free, free. Free from what? Free from what controlling circumstance? You don't have the freedom to, to you know, play the violin if you don't know how to play the violin. Hey, Gary, here's a link to the New York Times article on the case. Okay, so now this is a previous comment where he's talking about some guy who jumped into a, 
a subway tunnel to save another guy, you know, onto the tracks. You could argue that his military program took over. Yeah, well, exactly. I was going to argue, well, was this guy an ex-cop or the military? So he's sort of been programmed to act quickly, to assess the circumstance. So he kind of knew what the mechanics were. He understood that, okay, the train, there's a one, two, or two foot gap between the wall and the train. If I get this guy over to that corner and I fall on top of him, he'll be okay. I'll be okay. I can do this. I can save this guy. So, yeah, his brain did that calculation very, very fast because he's been practiced to do that. He's been, he's, 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 he's practiced. He knows how to throw a strike. And so he knows he can throw a strike. And so he's going to throw the fucking strike. Where somebody who doesn't know shit about the mechanics of a train, doesn't know nothing about its dynamics, doesn't know nothing about the spacing, will just say, if I jump down there, I'm going to die. <laughs> you know, they say, fuck it. Um, but then there is the fact that the two daughters were present to remind him of purpose. You could argue that his ego had to be satisfied, and he had not acted bravely, then his two daughters would bear witness. Of course, to say that he had bad program might be more, make much more sense unless the man was completely sure he could survive his heroic act. Well, it's not even completely survive, but yeah, you measure the risk, and you say, this is, I can do this. Your brain just turns on, it recognizes the circumstance, and it says doable, and it does it. It's like when you're playing any kind of game, any competitive sport, you kind of measure your doables, you know, and you, you, as you're playing, you see an opening, you see something open in front of you, and you don't really think about it, your brain just recognizes the pattern of an opening happening, and you, your brain just kind of knows from practice, well, if I turn right here, and I leap, if that guy's watching, he can throw me the ball, and I'm going to catch it. <sighs> okay, anyway. All right, as for bureaucracy, look up Mrs. Work on the same name. It's necessary function advanced economy. Look up Mrs. I don't know what that is. Idiot. JK. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> so, should people be paid for merely existing? Absolutely not. That's brutal. That's inhumane. Would you approve that? Would you say a person is able to work? Um, employ them quickly and painlessly. Don't let them leech your money away. It's unspeakable. It's unthinkable. But our government has said that's nice. That's ethical. Well, I'm sorry. You know what our government has said is that you you fall out of a vagina and you don't you don't even get a shack in the woods. You know where we give you for three meals a day. No, you control our fucking economy. You decide what we're going to have available to us. What kind of products we're going to have. Where they're going to blow up in our fucking hands because they've compromised on safety or some other thing to make more fucking money. Why is it some dumb cunt who just fell out of a vagina and never did anything to earn it control people? So, I mean, I don't mind a few leeches who are, who are dysfunctional and all they can really do is eat, sleep, and watch TV. There's people like that. Uh, they're too fucking broken. So, what are you going to do with them? Just kill them, asshole? I mean, it's a, it's a fact of reality. There's some people that are just not functional enough to work. Oh, idiot. All right, question concerning motives. Can you, the exception define the rule? A few years back, a man witnessed another man having a seizure. The man with a seizure fell on the tracks of the upcoming train. The man witnessed the event, drove on top, drove on top of the stricken man, and pinned him down. Yeah, so this is with the other stuff. And it's really, there is, you know, like I said, we're, we all have hero and we all have coward inside of us. Those are all programs we have inside of us. And depending on the circumstance, it's going to decide whether your coward is going to show up or your hero is going to show up. Depending on how confident you are in you um, and how passionate you are um, about the value that exists, and how much you want to win the war, will decide whether you'll put on the kamikaze suit, how, in, how much you hate the Nazis, or in that case, the Americans. Um, that'll decide whether you'll, you'll do what you have to do how much anger you have, how much love you have. These emotions will decide whether you'll be a hero or you'll be an asshole. Um, LOL, those are cool. My mother has one. Okay, that's about the, the little blinky thing. Isn't there value in the mere fact of living? Now, this is the one that really pissed me off. I'm just like, what the hell is that trite pile of crap? Isn't there value in the mere fact of living? What, what, is, what, what does that even mean? I mean, you know, is there value in the mere fact of, of getting your heroin and shooting it into your arm? Well, I suppose there's, but no life. The, the, the mere fact of living, living is this. I'm making a video. Living is, oh my fucking God, I got a brain tumor and my brains are flying out of my nose. 
Okay? I mean, living isn't one thing, idiot. I mean, living is a whole pile of experience, you stupid fuck. So obviously, if I'm living the moment of my brain coming out of my fucking nose, uh, no. There's not value intrinsic in that. It absolutely fucking sucks. Oh, fuck. If so, should people be paid for merely existing? Or whatever. There's, there's a comfort equation. Okay? And the equation is... First off, you say, should you make the goddamn person? Should you throw the rat in the maze in the first place? Then, once you've decided, okay, let's throw it in, now you have the equation, well, you know, should we at least make this maze survivable? So, so the rat doesn't get smashed and crushed and destroyed and made miserable and starved to death. Should we provide food for the rat? Well, I guess the question is, yeah, well, sure we could. Uh, and then you could uh, condition how much food he gets depending on whether he does the proper maze running because that's what he's supposed to do is run the maze for some stupid, undefinable reason. Uh, anyway, that's just stupid. Um, anyway, um, I think economics is just knowing what resources and objects are needed in a certain area and finding individuals with the capability of producing them. Well, I'm sorry, it's a little more complicated than that, because there's good jobs that absolutely fucking are great, and there's jobs that absolutely fucking suck. Getting crushed in the coal mine sucks. Um, you know, massaging uh, soft-skinned women all day is kick-ass. Uh, so, yeah, there's different kinds of jobs, and they're going to get paid different kinds of money based on silly standards. And so if we make it a fair standard based on how they, much they risk and how much they sacrifice and how much they actually sweat and how much discomfort they actually have to endure to acquire their skills, well, that would be a fair system. But because society makes, mixes wants and needs and people value wants more than needs because the needs are easy to obtain, the value system becomes dysfunctional. Yeah, well, the value system is our value system, unfortunately. It's that you give people, you know... You give them mashed potatoes, the next day they want steak, and then, and then they want steak tartare, they want some other bullshit. They, they just, they, they never, satisfaction is difficult to acquire. So they're, they're, they're very rarely going to be satisfied with one stable environment to exist in. They're always going to want a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Because they get bored. These humans are idiots. If you're going to discuss economics, I think you should also discuss politics because they are connected. Well, whatever. The economic theory doesn't have a damn thing to do with politics in its, in its basic structure. How exactly um, value currency functions in an economy doesn't have anything to do with politics. So the two things really don't have anything to do with each other. Economics is, a f is like architecture. You don't say architecture is political. There's a basic function. You can't do some things, all right? You can't build your house out of friggin' jello. Uh, testing and good video and such. That was my comment. Um, <clears throat> all right, last one. I'm really running out of time, I think. Um, maybe last one, we'll see. Um, I find it impractical that every living thing, every living being should be happy with their existence. Well, the, the point is, is who are you to decide... Um, that anybody should draw the short straw without signing up the contract, okay? You didn't get their consent. You just put a short straw in their pocket and say, well, tough shit, you're the unhappy one. Um, so I don't find anything ethical about that. So you can whine about practicality all you want, but the point is, is as soon as you're imposing on somebody else and saying they're going to pay the price for your pleasure, yeah, I'm sorry, that's not fair. Or that nature should um, appease the objects in it. Well, I'm not talking about nature doing a motherfucking thing. I'm talking about what human beings do who have been educated um, in, in, in knowledge in the function of nature. So now they can augment. They're not dumb sticks anymore. They don't just blow in the wind anymore. Human beings are more complicated than that. They can understand what wind is, and they can understand how to ride it. And what I'm saying is, if you're going to ride it on somebody else's back, fuck you. Um, it's as if people expected reality to be something like heaven. 
No, they don't have to have any expectation. Okay, it's your expectation. You're the you're the asshole saying you're expecting other people to have your sensibilities, to have your mor moronic values, to to eat the dog shit you're shoving up into into your gob. You're eating shit, asshole. You're living in a shit society with shit beings for shit purposes. You're you're infantile, immature, um, moron, and you're expecting the spawn to always be as dumb as you. And so when some bit of the spawn is smarter than you and can figure out that the whole game is goddamn idiotic, uh, you're saying, well, they don't have a right to complain? No, they have a right to say, where's my refund, cunt? Um, why shouldn't the strong survive and the weak die out? Is that what happens on planet Earth, idiot? I mean, the strong-minded aren't surviving. They're not having kids. They're not reproducing. <laughs> okay? It's merely the strong-bodied who are reproducing. Is, is, that something, is that something we want to do, is just create little cockroach humans? You know, smaller and smaller brains and bigger and bigger penises? Is that what it's all, all it's going to be? You're going to sit there and admire that and say, brav the fucko? Let's see who can be the biggest cock human? <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Uh, yes, it's heartless, but it's also wholly logical. Logical by what standard, you idiot? What, where, what? You, you've, you went to a DNA molecule and asked it, what's important, Mr. DNA molecule? And the molecule said, oh, reproduction, reproduction is the only thing that matters. Also, the only thing that matters, reproduction, reproduction, reproduction. And you said, now I'm going to base my entire value system on a DNA molecule's ethics. The DNA molecule says reproduction is the only thing that matters, so I'm going to listen to it and say reproduction is the only thing that matters. Fuck the quality of life. Fuck having meaning. Fuck having purpose. Fuck being efficient. Fuck having somewhere to drive your car. Just drive the fucking car. I mean, goddamn, could you be a little stupider? No, you probably can't. I think the game is fair. Ugh. Amazing, amazing statement. Amazing fucking statement. I'm, I just, just, it's too fucking amazing. There's a six year old kid with fucking leukemia right now getting chemo fucking therapy, alright? And when he's dead, I'd like to shove his remains up your fucking nostrils, you fucking cunt. I think the game is fair. Fuck you! Uh, if we want to put the game on easy mode, we must bring it about, not expect it. Well, duh, shithead. Why do you fucking think I make the videos on this shit before you dumb shit? Because I'm just sitting back expecting it, you stupid shit? No, I'm ah, arguing for it, you stupid shit. I'm advocating for it, you stupid shit. God, you're dumb. You just, why don't you change your name to dumb fucking ass? Maybe I'll do it for you. I'll just change your fucking screen name to dumb fucking asshole. Stupid shit. <laughs> yeah, I really should do more of this, just because this guy is a complete asshole, apparently. <laughs> I think the game is fair. F you can say almost anything except that. I mean, there's nothing stupider than that. It is the exact opposite of fair. It is completely unstructured, no rules, no umpires. How the fuck could the game be fair? <laughs> I mean, God, you just... How can you be this stupid? How? How did you get this dumb? What kind of fucking brick hit you in that fucking head? 